This short video will show you how you can simplify mixture analysis using predicted 1D pure shift proton NMR spectra. To watch the full webinar or for any additional inquiries, please follow the links listed below the video. And so we have a mixture. We have a proton NMR and a mixture of three components. We have ATP, we have glutathione, and we have sucrose. And there are different ratios and they're mixed up here. And what we can do is predict a proton NMR and compare them. So we're gonna to go to the calculate button here. We'll go to HNMR. It's gonna ask us, do you want to do a prediction for a mixture? We'll say yes. And here we have the option of defining the mixture. And we'll put the ATP to two, a ratio of two, and the glutathione to a ratio of two. Click OK. It'll do a prediction for the mixture of components at different ratios. And then I'm going to put it into something called tile mode, which allows you to compare two data sets side by side. And you can see the experimental data set at the top. The bottom is the uh, calculated proton NMR. And you'll notice also that certain peaks have different assignments, different colors. For example, this one here is red, right? The integral and the labels are red. And this is assigned to component one which is red, and if I use the green triangles at the bottom right corner, we can look at the blue component, which is the sucrose, right? and we can see when it melts over the peak, it will show what the assignment is on the sucrose, and if we go to the third component, which is green, is the glutathione, and you could see the assignment for that too. In addition, because we're in tile mode, which we're comparing our experimental data to our calculated proton MR, we can zoom in on a region and we can see how they compare to the experimental data. So you can predict for a mixture of components, which is what we did. If I go back and click on the experimental, you'll see the three components. You can define the ratio of the three components and that allows you to play around until you get something that is uh, similar to what you have experimentally. And the software will distinguish what the assignments are for that component and you'll see the different colors, the blue, the red, and the green. So I'm gonna go now to the pure shift proton NMR, and we'll look at ATP. So if I now go to calculate again, there's an option to calculate a pure shift proton NMR spectrum. We'll do that for ATP. And what you'll see now, if I zoom in on this particular region, if you'll see just the ATP peaks. And you'll see that the pure shift prediction collapsed all the uh, couplings from the proton into a single peak. So it helps you to simplify areas where you got a lot of overlap. And for example, if you have uh, carbohydrates, where you have a lot of methylenes, diastereotopic protons, they'll overlap and they're hard to see by collapsing them into a singlet. Things become a little bit more clear and less complicated to do the assignment. So once again, to access the pure shift proton and Mars spectrum, you click on the calculate button and the option is right there.